this particular video is for international master's degree students in the UK and in most other developed countries. A lot of things are changing about immigration, a lot of new rules, a lot of unknown rules that will be coming up in the future. But this is what you must do. If you have a long term plan, then you need to start acting differently from the rest of the crowd. Because a lot of people, when they come over to a new country and their master's degree program starts, they're more interested in just focusing on that master's degree alone and the fantasy, the, the new environment brings, how they go out to places to see matches, to see this, to see that, take pictures, make videos, send back and all of that and all of that but you need to be a different person and concentrate on the following things now do the best you can to get the best of results out of your master's degree there's a reason why i'm emphasizing this and the benefits are on two dimensions first is if you have a very qu high quality master's degree you ease your entry into the job market remember that when you come into any of these environments you are going to be in competition against the locals when it comes to employment at the end remember again that the local people know their culture better than you do they know the language better than you do they have in many cases especially in the uk an advantage of oratory if you don't have a top quality master's degree results you may struggle to land yourself a professional job focus on it get the best of it but while you are focusing on that master's degree journey there are other things that you must not forget you need to have a second option that second option that you have which i even prefer to call your first option should be to start working systematically and strategically towards a fully funded phd program it's best that you have a fully funded phd program and then you land yourself a job at that point you are or you have the option to make a choice than that you do not get that fully funded phd and then you begin to struggle to land a professional job at the end of your studies what must you do if you are interested in that fully funded phd first of all you need to identify you need to start from within your university the place where you already are start working from there towards your phd first you need to pay attention to the lecturers within your school within your faculty and maybe any other allied faculty where the knowledge you are gaining through this masters can be applied to solving a research problem identify the ones who normally have funding funded projects from maybe the government from companies from different institutions that give them funding that enable which enables them to hire phd students identify those lecturers and then do the following number one see that they are see what their research interests are and see the possibility of aligning your research interest with their own by the time you've been able to do that find the one who you can align your research interest with his or her own then you need to reach out to that person write an email to the person say I am so so and so person i just went through your profile i found your research interesting and i would like to join this particular research group for so so and so reasons these are the skills i have and these are the things i bring to the table if i am given the opportunity to join your research group as a the level of a phd i'm not going into all the details of what you should write in the email but there are tutorials here on this platform on how to write code emails go back to them and learn master your code email and then you go write it to the person after you reached out to that person the other thing you must do with those people with with at least one of them is to align your master's degree thesis topic or master's degree dissertation topic with the research interest of that person you are bringing you are coming in from the angle of i want you to be my master's degree supervisor because the work i want to do in my master's degree is directly related to the research you are doing at the moment you can convince them to be your supervisors if you show enough passion and show that you have what it takes to be able to deliver some productivity when you join their research group. So you align yourself with that. Then go to your course coordinator or whoever is responsible for distributing those functions. Talk to that person that you have identified a faculty member whose research interest aligns with what you want to do 
in your master's. If you don't do this in most universities, the university will come to a point of just randomly assigning you to different faculty members. But remember that success is not a random activity. Success is planned, is strategic. You have to work on it. You have to plan it. And then you have to be intentional about it. So take that intentional initiative. Go meet them and get yourself assigned to one of these lecturers. Now, by the time you get assigned to the lecturer, then you need to show your workings. The first thing that you must do, which every supervisor, which is going to melt the heart of every supervisor towards you, is to do the best you can to produce a paper or a conference paper, a journal paper, a conference presentation out of your thesis or out of your dissertation, whatever it's called in your own school. You can do something like a literature review, you can do something like an actual paper, or you can do a conference where you go to present the outcomes of your research. Why do you need to do this? Because every supervisor, every professor, every associate professor, they are all interested in producing journal papers. And you would have shown them and convinced them that beyond knowing the book, you also have that interest and you have that capacity to write and produce journal papers. This is going to be of massive help to you. And I know that many of you will go complaining, oh, time is not there. It's just one year. I can't do this. I can't do that. There are lots of tools now that can help you with on the process of getting your paper published, refining your ideas, giving you the right suggestions and a whole lot of other things that you can do. There are tutorials on this platform on our YouTube channel where you can go to and learn how to do academic writing. In fact, last year we had a series on academic writing. We had lecturers from uh, pharmacy. We had a lecturer from biological sciences. We had another lecturer from uh, humanities and geography we had another person from engineering who came in to teach about academic writing and how to publish journal papers you can go back to those videos refer to them or if you can't find them just drop a message in the comment section and i will send a link to the video to you let me know in the comment section if this is what you're interested in doing if you watched this video till this point Go to the comment section and tag Academy of Scholarships and Transitions. If you do this, these things I've told you now, then you have improved your chances of getting a scholarship fully funded in your school. But don't stop at that. There is another dimension because your school may not have so much funding at the point you joined the university and if the school does not have that amount of funding to cover your studies then you need to take this strategy out of your school to the general public of schools within the country where you are studying and intend to stay you go to any of those countries say for instance in the uk there will always be a website where they have like a unification of posts about scholarships about funded PhD projects and then about postdoctorate degree studies. In the UK, the website would be jobs.ac.uk. Jobs.ac.uk slash PhD. If you go to that website, you'll be able to find funding opportunities in other universities in the UK and you can start applying this same strategy to those people. We're going to talk about jobs in the next video what you need to do to be able to win a job and be secured by the time you graduate this is academy of scholarships and transitions if you found this video useful hit that share button just right now bye